Skoda has long used its low profile here as a selling point. A niche brand from the Czech Republic with quality products, a well-kept secret known only to a clever few. But as it did in Western Europe years ago, we think it's time for the brand's Australian arm to come out of the shadows and into the mainstream. And this is the car to do it. It's called the Skoda Kodiak, a left of centre SUV rival to the slightly bigger Kia Sorento and Mazda CX-9. Here, the company shirks the quirk and aims for something conventional, albeit with a twist. Looks good, doesn't it? Conventional but classy and well proportioned, with nice wheels, LED headlights and some crisp lines. Something to get the neighbours and other parents on the school run wondering. The cabin is well finished and pretty sharp to look at, in the contemporary yet austere way so typical of Volkswagen Group cars. Skoda is, after all, a subsidiary of the German giant. A key example is the glass design 8 inch glass touchscreen that's as up to date as the latest smartphones. The single spec Skoda is priced from a very reasonable 42,990 plus on road costs, yet comes relatively loaded with gear. Despite being a European brand, Skoda is a conquest one, after all. Key features include sat-nav, reversing camera, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, keyless start, climate control and rather nice leather and suede seats. And Skoda being Skoda, you also get a vast array of cabin storage areas and even a pair of umbrellas hidden in the front doors, a Skoda signature. The middle seats are pretty good for the class too, with really good legroom and headroom, nice big side windows, seats that slide and recline, and some really cool amenities like this nifty tablet or phone cradle that sits in front of your eyes, rear air vents, a 12 volt socket, and a flip down center armrest with cup holders. The third row is definitely tighter than some competitors, but it's worth remembering that the 4.7 meter long Skoda is a pretty small car by class standards. But let's face it, the primary purpose of the third row in any SUV is to transport kids about. If you're regularly ferrying six adults on anything but the shortest of journeys, then your passengers will probably appreciate you doing the job in a people mover, something like a Kia Carnival or Mercedes V-Class. An electric tailgate is standard fit. While it's dead easy to drop the third row of seats to liberate usable cargo space. You can also use a lever in the cargo area to fold the middle row to make the Kodiak a carry wagon with 2,000 litres of storage. Oh, there's also a retractable cargo cover hidden under the floor here, and even an LED torch tucked away in the side of the car. Now to the drive. For now, the only engine on offer is a turbocharged 2.0-litre petrol, making a respectable, though hardly earth-shattering, 132 kilowatts of power and 320 newton metres of torque. A 140 kilowatt diesel will probably come down the track. While it's a small engine by class standards, it's strong where it counts. It has a pretty good mid-range and plenty of rolling response that makes it urgent and peppy around town or when overtaking. Now a lot of that's down to the new 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which is really good compared to earlier iterations of the same design. There are very few of those signature low-speed jerks or vibrations or shudders that you may have seen in generations past. It's also pretty frugal compared to its rivals too, although you'll be hard-pressed to match Skoda's claim of 7.6 litres every 100 k's. For reference, we're averaging somewhere in the low to mid nines. Still decent. In the interest of keeping the range simple, the Kodiak is only available with an on-demand 4x4 system that sends traction to the back wheels when sensors in the car detect slip at the front. Gravel and snowy trails are in this car's wheelhouse. A journey across the wild outback, not so much. Standard safety tech includes radar-guided cruise control, autonomous emergency braking that works at low speeds, and nine airbags protect occupants in the cabin. 
for a big family SUV, the Skoda is also a pretty good thing to drive. It's nimble and darty and pretty car-like around town. It's also really quiet on freeways and has nice light steering that makes it quite an easy experience overall. Our car's also fitted with an optional system that adds or subtracts weight from the dampers, taking it from a relatively stiff, sporty drive to a soft, comfort-oriented one on call. What don't we like? Well, the 19-inch wheels may look the part, but they don't help the ride comfort or noise suppression. Furthermore, it's easy to add up to $10,000 to your price by adding various options and option packs. Read the review on caradvice.com to see the specifics. Yet the dislikes are few and far between. The Skoda may be a touch smaller than some of its rivals, yet for the average family with two or three kids, it's an excellent, high-class option. We should also add that Skoda has a five-year warranty with no kilometre limit and various prepaid service packs that are quite reasonable. The company has to be bold to break through. You may not know the Skoda brand, but you should get acquainted if a family SUV is on your wish list. We rate this car very highly.